Today we are going to experience generative fill without having Photoshop. Now, this isn't anything new and it's been available for a while now. However, I noticed that a lot of people still do not know about this. So with that being said, let's dive into the video to see exactly how to use generative fill without having Photoshop. The first thing you will want to do is visit the link in the description. That will bring you here. Once here, you will see the blue Explore Firefly blue button. Click on the blue Explore Firefly button. That will open a new window. Now click on the blue sign in button at the top right of your screen. If you have an account, go ahead and sign into that account. Otherwise, sign up for a new account. For me, I already have a free account. So I'm going to sign into it. Once you're signed in, you'll need to agree to the Adobe User Guidelines. Click the blue Agree button. Next, click on the Generative Fill Blue Generate button. For this example, we will use one of Adobe's preset images. However, in your case, you will probably want to use your own image. So for that, you would simply click on the Upload Image button. However, for this video, I'll use this fish image. I want to add a shark in the background. So, I am going to brush away the area where I want to use the Generative Fill feature. Once I have erased the section, I'll need to describe what I want to fill in this area. In our case, I'll just keep it simple and type shark. Give it a minute and let Generative Fill do its thing. Once it's done, we should have four different sharks that Generative Fill has created for us. I like the first result, so I'll make sure my first result is selected and click on the blue keep button. Let's go over the tools real quick. Here we have the add brush. This is your default brush. It will allow you to erase any part of the image so that Generative Fill can fill that section with whatever it is you describe. Next, we have the Subtract Brush. Let's say you've erased a bit more than you wanted to. This is where the Subtract Brush comes into play. It will allow you to bring the default image area back. Now let's take a look at our settings. Here you can set your brush size, hardness of your brush, and brush opacity. If you click on the Background tool, that will erase the whole background. Allowing you to use Generative Fill to replace the background with whatever you describe in the Generative Fill text box. And last, but not least, we have the Invert button. This does the opposite of background. In order to use invert, you'll need to select the background first, then invert it. This will remove everything but the background. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you use Adobe's awesome generative fill for free without having Photoshop. Now go and create some awesome images with generative fill. That brings us to the end of today's insightful journey into the world of AI. If you found this video valuable and want to stay up to date with the latest trends and breakthroughs in artificial intelligence, please hit that like button. It lets us know that you appreciate the content. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. By doing so, you'll become part of a community that's at the forefront of AI discussions. And remember, by clicking the bell icon, you'll get notified whenever we upload new content, ensuring you never miss a beat in this fast-paced field. Finally, we encourage you to share your thoughts and questions in the comment section below. We love hearing from you and your insights could spark fascinating discussions among the AI controversy community. Thank you so much for your time and attention. We look forward to seeing you in the next video. Until then, keep exploring, keep learning, and keep pushing the boundaries of what's possible.